I'm Nigel Blackwood, I'm a course lead on the Forensic Mental Health MSc course at King's. We look at the complex relationship between crime and mental disorders. We look at the neuroscientific underpinnings of this relationship and then take the story forward from a basic brain basis of these disorders through to the way in which they are assessed, managed and treated in secure forensic services and also in the criminal justice system. So we look at the pathway that an individual takes throughout the whole criminal justice system from the moment of arrest through police stations, magistrates court, sentence peers in prison, appearing before the parole board to come out of prison and then careful management in the community. I think it's fair to say that what we offer within the forensic aspects of our work is really unique in the world because it brings together the clinical services together with the academic services and you have world leaders in delivery of therapeutic approaches, testing therapeutic approaches and measuring outcomes in addition to individuals that research those aspects of it. Oh wait, externalising is negative behaviour? Yeah, ah, okay. problem. Out of all the courses I looked at, this was the most interesting and it offered the most as well, so obviously offering placements, observational work and also the networking opportunities because you not only just have your faculty but they have so many connections to um, institutions all around London. There are two pathways within this course, Forensic Mental Health Research and Clinical Forensic Psychology. In Clinical Forensic Psychology, this is a BPS Stage 1 accredited programme with a significant clinical placement in a forensic setting, whether that's in a prison setting, low secure, medium or high secure psychiatric setting. And that's a 60 day placement in which the student is working alongside a psychologist and a multidisciplinary team and contributing to the assessment and management of individuals within those services. The second pathway is the Forensic Mental Health Research pathway in which students are looking in great detail at the research and methods underpinning our approach to understanding these disorders and informing the way in which services should develop. This group uh, take 10 days to work alongside multidisciplinary teams working in prison settings or secure forensic settings to take their detailed research knowledge forward to look at the way in which this could be put into practice. What really seals the deal for the student is the clinical placement that links the theory to practice. Uh, for a practitioner from a developing country as myself, it was really an eye-opener to see how the systems are practiced in a country like the UK. I like the size of it. It's, it doesn't feel like they're just trying to recruit as many people as they can and it feels like they are investing in us and they're trying to create the next generation of people working in this field. Criminal offending behaviour has a major impact in all of our societies and in this course we take a deliberately international approach to understanding the problem and looking in particular at the complex relationship between mental disorder and offending behaviours. And it's an understanding, assessing and managing these behaviours such that we reduce their chances of recidivism when they leave our services that will have a major impact on crime within our societies.